If you are thinking of dropping or adding a class, you should have a conversation with your advisor first. These changes can have an effect on your path towards graduation. They can advise you on the best decision to make. It's important to pay attention to our dates that allow you to drop and add courses. Dropping a course without adding one can potentially put you behind a certain amount of credits. Typically, you have until the end of the first week of the semester to add a course. After this amount of time, it is understood that you have missed too much information to catch up and be successful. You are allowed to drop a course up until the end of the second week, but remember the chance to add in its place has passed. It is important to make these decisions within the first week of classes or before the semester begins. After the drop period is ended, you have the option to withdraw from a course. Again, adding in its place has passed. You will be behind and need to plan on adding a course to your plan in a future semester. This is one way to allow you to catch up. When withdrawing, you now already have paid for the course and it will appear on your transcript as a W, but you will avoid failure which would affect your GPA. Be aware because some majors do not allow for so much flexibility to stay on track for graduation. When you want to add a course, you will need your advisor's approval before you can register. Let's say you just want to switch section times for a course that you've registered in. Great news! You've already received approval from your advisor, so you need to add the new time to your calendar and then proceed to drop and add the sections. Again, this can be done because your advisor has already approved the course. Let's change times for our Religion 104 course from Section A to Section P. First, we need to add Section P to our schedule. And now we need to drop Section A in order to add Section P. So we'll go down here to Religion 104A and click Drop. Now a pop-up has appeared. It says you've elected to drop Religion 104A. In here it gives you the options to select the section you would like to drop. In here it shows the selections you would like to add. So let's select here and now it shows that we're selecting to drop Religion 104A and selecting to add Religion 104P. And now update. And now you have properly switched sections. Remember to clean up your course plan by removing the old section from your calendar and in the lists on the left as well. If you are looking to drop a course and add a different one in its place, you need to add the new course to your plan and request a review. I have added History 109 Section P to the schedule and now need to get approval from my advisor. I will go to the Advising and request a review. Remember to email your advisor letting them know you are interested in dropping a course and need approval of a new course to add in its place. We can see that our History 109 class has been approved. Now you want to find the class you plan to drop. Let's drop Philosophy 101. You want to click Drop and the pop-up will appear. We are selecting to drop Philosophy 101C and add History 109P. This is very similar to switching sections, except these courses are different, and that's why we needed approval of the new course to add in its place. And now update. Let's clean up our course plan again. We want to remove philosophy from the calendar and from the list on the left as well. If you are only adding a course to your plan, first make sure your advisor has given you approval. And now you can either click Register Now or Register Under the Specific Course. You have learned how to change your schedule by dropping and adding sections and dropping and adding new courses. Remember to discuss with your advisor before making any changes to your schedule and to receive approval on courses. It is important to understand the effect changes to your schedule can make on your path towards graduation. What did we learn? If a course is approved, you are able to drop and add between sections. Add the new section to your schedule and then you can drop the current section. When the pop-up appears, be sure to select the section to drop and the section to add. If you wish to change to a different course, 
then you need approval from your advisor. Once the course is approved, you can drop the current course and add the new course in its place. Discuss these changes with your advisor to understand the effects it may have on your date of graduation.